Facebook, the real problem is, like I said, all they care is the money you make them. They don't care about you as a, as a creator. They just care about you as people. They want to show you ads and they will not show your content to people unless you pay. So I think YouTube is here to stay. Uh, I believe that the last time they, they, they betrayed their creators uh, in what we call the money, money YouTube apocalypse or money ap ad, ad, ad apocalypse, um, because uh, there was uh, I don't remember which which creator did something and then Coca Cola and Nike decided to remove themselves from the platform for a week, and then they decide to, you know, to make the creators pay by making the the revenue harder and the bots like stuff. We were super vocal and we were pissed. And then the boss of YouTube came, her name is Susan. She came and she said, listen, we are trying to find the right balance between our advertisers because they are the ones who pay you and our viewers because they are the ones who view you and you because you are the one who create the content as creators and we are trying to find the right balance and yeah sometimes we might make mistakes etc we're going to be more transparent with the rules etc etc they did all that bruno hey thank you so much brother uh i'm going to algarve i'll be there in maybe thursday i i have to see maybe thursday but because i have a show wednesday so probably thursday um but thank you so much for the support, brother. And I'll call you. It's as a, as a platform, they understand that if they piss off their creators, even if the people will not leave YouTube, if enough big creators are pissed and decide to move to another platform, it will hurt them. And they don't want to lose like some huge creators to Facebook or to you see what I mean? They would love to have shows like Raid Table Talk or other shows to, to, to come to YouTube instead of being on Facebook. And there's a lot of content on Facebook as well. But YouTube has been playing this content game for long enough that they know what to do. And for the second part of your question... Um, uh, apart from a mobile website, uh, is there a way to leverage my website without paying a lot to stream music? Yeah, I don't understand exactly what you mean. If it is... If you want to stream your own music, do you want to stream your own music? If you want, if you want to stream your own music, uh, I would... I would say that YouTube is, is is the right place. So you have to, to be more specific in what you are trying to do exactly. Kiara, hello. How are you, sister? On a holiday? Nous te fans sommes déçus. I will check out someone's website if people have a link to it in their bio on on their social media page. I don't want to just use a specific social platform to engage a brand. True, but then it just depends. It depends which brand and it depends if if this creates friction or not. That's what I mean. To give you an example, a super chat was an example. When you have to do a transaction with the person that is doing a live show. You don't want to go to another website. Unless now, if you're watching on the TV and you have your phone, you might do it. But if you just have your phone, for example, and clicking means you have to click away, then come back. Some people will do it, but most people will be like, eh, 
maybe next time or whatever or I'll, I'll 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 do it later or i'll do it after the show and then they forget whereas the fact that you can just click to do the transaction or interaction in the same place it removes the friction and this is what i was talking about in in in, in these terms uh my my people who follow me they follow me on instagram they follow me on twitter they follow me on on uh on YouTube, they follow me on TikTok. If if they're there, some some of them earlier were on Keisha.com. So yes, of course you have to make sure that your your followers can interact with you everywhere, and that you give them content in all those places. And it's a lot of work as well. And uh, then it it just depends what is your your business if your business is to sell books you will not sell them on on youtube so of course at a point you want them the people to go get your book and you will tell them go get my book that's what we do me and body uh my my main business is still making music and having people listen to my music and stream it so of course that's why there's link to my spotify so hopefully hey there's this new song or hey i have a new single go on spotify listen to it and so it 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 just depends but yeah me i have a website i just i have a i have a a link keisha.com and keisha.com links you to all the different places where you can find the different products that i sell art here music is there my label is here the t-shirts are there and then you have the social website of course but uh if i wanted if if um if i want people to 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 give me a super chat i think it's way more effective that people buy it directly on the website rather than having to go to another website friction Thanks for the answer. Let's learn how to have multiple sources of income. Building the brand is so important. Yep. Uh, having mer- multiple sources of revenue is how you become rich. Uh, if you only have one, you are susceptible of anything happening to one of your sources. And all of a sudden, and trust me, a lot of artists, a whole lot of art. Ooh. I receive money nice uh my bank where my why my bank sends me messages at 3 a.m anyway it's a good message thanks bank uh my um what was i saying i get disconcentrated with money um a lot of the artists that suffer from the pandemic are the artists that ended up only relying on show money and they didn't have streaming money, they didn't have other venues of revenue. Publishing, intellectual rights, this, that. They only were doing shows and whatever the price you had for your shows, when the pandemic started, the shows were over for a year and a half. That's enough for a lot of people to be on their knees. And the fact that you can have different sources of revenue and different avenues of interactions with the people who follow you and even the new people who will follow you like I did during the pandemic changes everything. So yeah, it's very important to build that brand. 